This question asks, why is real GDP a more accurate measure of an economy's production than nominal GDP? So again, here we're dealing with this, uh, you know, this uh, question of real versus nominal. Uh, real versus nominal. Um, and again, uh, the takeaway is that real numbers account for price change. Uh, and, and hold prices constant, and nominal figures don't. Uh, and so, uh, if that's the case, then uh, we find that real GDP is going to be a more accurate measure than nominal GDP, because we know that uh, real GDP measures uh, on, really only the output of a country and, and is not influenced by price changes from year to year. Um, Assuming like, let's say, talk about GDP growth, assuming that, you know, this year, uh, let, let's say that, you know, last year, uh, economy produced uh, five, uh, five goods at, you know, one dollar each. Uh, sorry, one dollar each. And then this year, they produce five goods at Two dollars each. Uh, nominal GDP. Uh, let's do real nominal. So let's say we use uh, this year one as our base here. Then real GDP would just be five times one is five. Uh, five dollars for for year one and for year two would be five times one is still five. So we'd see no change in GDP from year one and year two, but uh, for nominal, we see year one, it would be uh, $5 uh, total uh, nominal GDP. And then year two would be five times two or $10. And so we would see that production has doubled because of price change, not because the actual number of goods being produced has changed. And so when we're trying to m measure production. Prices is, is, you know, uh, it's just a number, right? It has nothing to do with the actual amount being produced. And so we want to keep it constant and therefore real, as we can see here, keeps the dollar amount constant in a certain year and therefore allows us to see changes in real production rather than just changes in price. So we're going to look for an answer choice that tells us about this kind of difference between a change in production versus a change in price. So answer choice A says nominal GDP is adjusted for the effects of inflation or deflation, whereas real GDP is not. And so that flips it. Uh, it's real GDP that adjusts for those things and not nominal GDP. The second uh, point says real GDP is not influenced by price changes, but nominal GDP is. Uh, and this is true, uh, like we just illustrated on the right. If price changes uh, in the economy, real GDP is not going to be affected by those changes. It's only when production is changed that, that real GDP has changed. And let's just take a look at three for good measure. Uh, three says real GDP measures the value of the goods and services an economy produces. Uh, true. But nominal GDP measures the value of the goods and services an economy consumes. Uh, no. So this uh, this is more so a difference between the uh, expenditure approach, or sort of a consumption approach versus the, uh, the production approach to... Uh, measuring GDP, but that has nothing to do with uh, real versus nominal. So that's not going to be the right answer. So let's take a look at the two previous tutor's answer choices. Uh, tutor, tutor, the tutor says, you know, real GDP is not influenced by price changes, but nominal GDP is, which is correct. Uh, and they say the GDP of an economy is an economic indicator that represents the monetary value of all final goods and services produced in an economy during a given period, generally a year within its domestic borders. It is used to indicate the standard of living in an economy and the economic capacity so as to compare two economies. And so um, that's true. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to answer this question, but it's good background. A nominal GDP is the value of the GDP measured in terms of the prevailing prices, which is today's prices, and hence, it does not account for changes in price that have occurred over time. Yes, that is correct. When the effects of price changes are taken into consideration and a nominal GDP is adjusted for inflation or deflation, then we get the real GDP. This is this is good. Uh, this is a good explanation. Um, finally, 
Real GDP is a more accurate measure of an economy's production as we can't conclude if the increase in a nominal GDP has occurred due to an increase in output or due to an increase in prices, whereas an increase in real GDP always shows an increase in economy's output. Yeah, I, I honestly don't think I could have said it better myself. So uh, this is uh, a really great answer and we're gonna say great answer, very thorough. And we can mark that correct. Nothing uh, really to modify with that.